Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the Agent Force custom lightning types, new features. So you have to learn these things, right? So before starting this video, I requested you all, if you are new in this channel, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. First of all, let me tell you what is the lightning type. So lightning types are the JSON based data type. Here you can see the definition. It's to manage your data representation based on your need, right? So whenever you have the any agent, let's say I will show you the demo here, then definitely we will see the implementation of this, you know, import this agent. Okay. So let me click on this agent and this agent basically is the internal agent. You can see, let me make some query in it. Let's say so me employees something like that so here you can see uh, it's loading and the number of employees with the data you can see here okay so if you open any you know tab regarding the employees you can see the number of employees here let's say all and i have like seven employees in my org that's why you can see the data like seven m ui prospective is not looking good so how we can improve with the help of custom lightning type so we can give the safe of the data based on the json okay using agent ports so we have some prerequisites so if you are working on the lightning type so you have to configure some you know schema as well as lwc so in lwc please take care about those things i will explain it okay so don't worry about it also please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so let me change this you know this data save to another ui so how we can change it so in my agent in my agent uh, let me open this agent and here you can see uh, this is the editable pen pencil icon but uh, this agent is, is still active so let me do that one thing here let me refresh it or let me deactivate first like okay click on this edit detail page and once we clicked on this edit detail page you can see the pencil icon right so this is my apex class like uh, employee control i will show you uh, after some times so here you have to change this one like apex based on your json data okay so we have to pass this json to the lwc and uh, it's automatic you know parse this into the good ui so this is the emp response let me save this let me activate this agent okay so previously you can see this data this say like uh, unsaved data okay let me refresh this page and once we refresh it now you will be see the new data here so let me make the query like show me employees something like that okay so let's see the output here so after that you can see my ui is very you know attractive or improvement you can see ui and ux perspective and i made this using you know lwc this uh, custom lightning pipe so you can search the employee from here as well because it's a search bar some paginations let's say uh, i'm showing here three records per page that's why you can see the pagination one of three so let me click on the next next and now in the last one one record okay let me go the previous one and you can search let's say any let's say test so you can see the test record also you can select the record once you click it it's automatic redirect that particular records detail page okay uh, let me clear the you know search and now you can see this ui so how we can override the previous output with this output i'm going to explain in this video okay so let's get started so first of all here you can see the my employee class like employee controller it's an invocable method if you want to access any apex class in your agent so always make as an invocable method and it's accept the list of you know data type so right now i'm accepting like list of a string okay this is the invocable method like get employees and this is the employee response so employee re response taking the employee list and employee list taking the list of employees and this is the employee class like a invocable variable id 
custom name and the salary and this is the constructor to initialize these all variables so this is the simple code to use this one okay after that you have to do one thing in the you know lightning type once you clicked on the gear icon okay in the gear icon under the quick find you have to search here just close it search here like uh, types so you can see the option like lightning types okay so once you clicked on it in your case you cannot see any you know c related or custom c means custom namespace is the by default namespace but uh, self already have this standard one like lightning these all data type right right now i'm using this employee data emp response and here you can see the description everything it is coming from the lwc i will show you with the name that okay so this is the lightning type so we can override the existing functionality or existing data type with our user defined data type okay so how we can do that so in the lwc i have created the lwc component that is employee okay and i'm not invoking any apex class or something like that and method it's a simple you know variable here and it's a, like an api it's getting the value and setting the value so this one is a responsible to take the json from the agent and parse into this format okay and this is the connecting callback based on this one it's setting the you know mapping the employee data and updating the employee data and it's some pagination logic as well as you know navigation as here this is the search one so this is the simple lwc in the html let me show you the html it's a simple html here you can see this one this is simple html and some css you can modify your css based on your need okay so in this lwc you have to do one thing in your project root directory in the project root directory you have to create you have to create you know one folder that is lightning types okay after that you have to create you know uh, that folder you can create any folder as you want for now i'm creating this i already created this emp response under the es emp response you have to create another folder that is lightning desktop generative ai under this uh, desktop generative ai folder you have to cre create uh, one render json file and uh, this one under the emp response this file schema.json so schema.json it will be available inside the emp response and uh, desktop generation ai under you can see this file like render json so you have to take care about these two files if you are working this custom you know lightning type that is cl tree okay so this is the basic configurations so let me show you the schema first so in schema is a json format it's a title description and the lightning type it's a very most important this one and this is the you know naming convention to use the uh, custom controller in the types so it's a like apex type slash underscore underscore employee controller dollar employee list so c is nothing but it's a namespace by default it's a custom namespace here you can see by default namespace right if you have like another namespace so you can add your namespace here instead of c and after that this is the employee controller class here you can see this is the employee controller class after that you can see the employee list so it means this is the response so in our controller if you see here employee list here you can see so this is the class right under this class we have the employee response this employee response this one okay that's why you can see the employee list employee list and because it's a need some you know number of you know list of the employees that's why so employee response contain the this employee list so we have to pass it right so this is the schema after that you can see the render dot json file so you have to write like render this is the standard you know uh, names so you can find out from the salesforce doc as well these all things but you have to configure your component like that so component overrides dollar definition and a c slash employee employee means this is the lwc component name c slash employee name it's the namespace then your lwc name after that you have to deploy this you know lightning type once you deploy it you will be see this lightning type inside the lightning types salesforce you know quick find and after that you have to create your topics or you know action based on your agent 
So this is my default agent. If you see here, this is my default agent, like agent default. Once you open it, once you open it, you can see the different types of, you know, action and topics. I will show you here. So in my topics, you can see the employee data management. So once you click it, so these all, you know, instructions of this, let me deactivate it. Okay, so these all instruction and the action. So under the action, I just, in, uh, you know, include that uh, of X controller class here. You can see this one. Okay, once you include it, immediately in the last, you can see like input and the output, right? So for now, I'm not using any input from the user, right? That's why you cannot override right now. In the future, definitely I will create another video about the, you know, input as well. Same for output, right? So after that, you can see, like employee list okay employee list data type c underscore underscore emp response okay it's not a standard it's a custom here you can see please observe after that you can see the map a variable or you have to click on this add it in detail page so once you click on it now you can see this one like uh, this uh, drop down under the drop down this is the standard because itself by default created you know at the time of actions this uh, these things this is like a custom apex class action so it's created by the sales for by default this one okay if you have another class so your class name should be appear here but uh, for now we have to use this emp response so let me use first of all this uh, predefined things as a sales already created using my uh, apex class so just let me save this and now come to this place just let me refresh it and once you refresh it, now here, oh, it's still not activated. So let me activate that agent, like activate. And once you activate it, again, you have to refresh it. And here, you have to type like, so me, the employees, something like that. Okay. So now, after that, you can see the employees here as a raw data, like this, this form. So this format, I don't want this format that's why i need to overwrite this uh, you know output with my custom lighting types so i need to change that one so here in this one just uh, let me deactivate that one first of all because without deactivation you cannot change it so just refresh it and once you refresh it just you have to choose your output from here so this is a response like EMP response. Just click on the save. And after that, you have to activate your agent. Now let me refresh it. And once you refresh it, okay. So now just open the agent and like show me employees, something like that. So here you can see some process is going on. And after that, you can see my, you know, custom lightning types this uh, showing with the lwc look and feel right these all things so you can change accordingly based on your need and based on your requirement these all things so this is the simple you know uh, simple way to override your standard uh, you know lightning type with your custom lightning type using lwc type or before that i forget one thing so please keep in your mind once you develop uh, lwc right in the meta file you have to use this tag that is lightning underscore underscore agent force output for the output right so that's why you can see the output as different types of ui if you have like input then you have to use like lightning underscore underscore agent force input something like that please keep in your mind these all things okay so this is very important for us if you are working on the agent core custom you know data types or custom lightning types so this is how you can work on the Salesforce, Agent Force, custom lightning types. Guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is the very more informative for us, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye-bye. Take care. See ya. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.